So we're just going to run over what we done last week, the moving up and stopping. Right. Which I've watched a couple of times. Um, the one thing I did notice about it was that you were talking very quick. On the move? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you seem to think we were in an awful hurry, but I wasn't moving that fast anyway. No. So what we need to do is sort out the consolidation, especially the consolidation of the steering, because the the steering you that we agreed, we didn't actually follow through with it, did we? No. Right, so you don't have to go with five minutes to me, ten minutes to you. You can actually go with uh, uh, steer to you, that's enough. Do you reckon you'd find it easier? Yeah. Uh, steer to me, that's enough. Yeah? So, if we just run through the consolidation at the end of the brief, um, it's going to be set the gas thickness of pound coin. Yeah? Right, yeah. yeah. It's going to be cover the brake, that means mm -hmm. put your foot over it, but don't use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't press it. And press the brake, the thickness of a pound coin, another thickness of a pound coin, another thickness of a pound coin, and maybe a thickness of a pound coin off, yeah? Okay. And the clutch is going to be a centimetre at a time, that's enough. A centimetre at a time, that's enough, yeah? Okay. So which way do you want to go with the steering? Um. To me, to you. <laughs> right. I'll try that. But it's very important to say that's enough, yeah? Okay. And what I'd be tempted to say is each each time you give me a command, just get in with keep your feet still. Right, okay. Yeah? yeah. So so we just have a quick run through that and just um Yeah, the rest of it was fine, but obviously the if you don't stick with the consolidation on the steering or you, or you change any other consolidation, then obviously they are going to play up with it because you that's not what you agreed there. Yeah? Mm, okay. uh, you've agreed it while the car was parked and then you can't really change it on the move, yeah? Okay. But when I watched it back, there were some funny instructions in there. Uh, five o'clock. Yeah. Yeah? Um, so obviously they would play around with that. But saying that, you had got, you had got me slow enough, uh, going slow enough to actually get yourself out of trouble. Right. Yeah? So I'll have a try there. Okay. Yeah? So, we've just got in the car, you, uh, you've just given the brief, so um, I would have set myself up, yeah? You would have. What did you just say? Yeah, I would have set myself you up, yeah? Okay. yeah? Um, okay. So, if you just run through that consolidation with me again then, yeah? Okay, Tony, so we're just going to go through the, uh, the phrase that I'll be using. So, right. first of all, when I ask you to set the gas, um, that means I want you to press the gas with your right foot with a, by a thickness of a pound coin. All right, yeah. Okay, so if you just want to do that, try that now, that's enough, yeah. And that's as much power as you'll need. It'll All be right. about a thousand revs or just under, okay? Yeah. We don't want too much, um, otherwise we'll go too fast. Right. Um, when I ask you to cover the brake, that means just placing your foot on the brake pedal but not press it down. Over the brake pedal. Over the brake pedal but not pressing it down, that's All right. it. Yeah. And when we want to come to a stop, I'm going to ask you to press it down a thickness of a coin at a time. Right. So press it down a thickness, yep. that's enough. Another coin yep. thickness, that's enough. And another coin thickness. Right. And then that will stop the car. You might need to bring it up by one pound thickness. So just press, bring it up one thickness, that's it. And okay. what's the reason behind that? And that's so that the car doesn't um, stop very suddenly and we can stop it smoothly. It's progressive braking. All oh, right. Okay. Yep. Um, and then when we want to get a um, biting point, you're going to have your foot all the way down on the clutch, obviously. So put your left foot all the way down all on right. the clutch. And to bring it to biting point, you're going to bring it up a centimetre at a time. So bring it up one centimetre for me. Yeah. That's enough. And bring it up another centimetre. And then that's enough. And then another centimetre. Right. That's enough. And by then we should get a biting point. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can relax your feet right. now. Um, and also with the steering, obviously you haven't done steering before. No. So um, what I want you to do is going to do really slow um, steering movements for me, and I'll direct you which way I want you to steer. So if I want you to steer towards you, I'll say steer towards you, Tony. That's enough. And then right. I want you to stop steering towards you. But if you do slow steering, then we won't get too much of a turn on. Otherwise, we'll be going across the other side of the road. Right, so okay. steer to me. Yeah, and when enough. I want you to steer towards me, um, just to get the car in the normal driving position, I'll say steer towards me, that's enough, and then I'll ask you to straighten up. 
All right. Okay, and that's with the wheel straight um, up the road. And then when we come to a stop, um, we're pulling over, it'll be the same thing. <coughs> steer towards me, that's enough, Tony. Steer towards you, Tony, that's enough. And that's so that we get we can get the wheels towards straighter so that we don't go up the curb. Right. And then I'll ask you to straighten up. Okay. Okay, does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Yeah, just have a little, little, bit, of talk, uh, little bit of talk about the observations that we're going to use pull away. Right. Because they were just a little bit, a little bit all over the place. And the other thing that you want to make sure is that you, that you are talking me through the, the mirror signal, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, so we need to mention on the first couple of moves off, so education takes place, do I need a signal? Yep. And obviously I won't know the answer on the first couple of ones. That's right. Um, you need to tell me, yeah? Okay. Um, yeah, the minimum observations for pulling away that the DSA will accept is the interior mirror, the right-hand door mirror, and the blind spot, yeah? Right, okay. So, there's no good, there's no point in trying to get me to do a six-point check and telling me I've got to do a six-point check because I don't really like that there because I don't really look for it, yeah? Right. Um, uh, the only time I would really need to be looking over that left shoulder is... If there was something there, people standing there, or an alleyway there where there's likely to be people standing there. Um, so I'd say the minimum is the interior mirror to make sure the road's clear, the left-hand door mirror to make sure there's nobody coming down the pavement, um, the right-hand door mirror to make sure there's nobody, nobody overtaking me, and then the blind spot and let's get it moving, yeah? Right, okay, yeah? so we don't have to... What about at the front windows? Yeah, yeah, the front, yeah, yeah. So I'm working my, yeah, yeah. I'm checking in there to make sure I can start the observation routine. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm I'm working from there. I'm working my way around, and I should finish up over the right shoulder. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have a go at that. Okay. What? No, I'm not going to tell you what the observations now are. Am I? Am no. I? Yeah. We're going to have a go at the. Uh, All right. So. Moving, I'm stopping. Um. And what are you going to say in between each command? Keep your feet still. Yeah, keep your feet okay. still. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, Tony, when you're ready, are you ready? Yep. Yep, okay, so pop the engine on. Have you you've done that before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, just remember, um, I've started the engine once before, yeah? Yeah. So, how did you start the engine last time? Oh, I turned the key. Um, but what comes before that? What's the precaution? Yeah, what are you going to check first before you put the engine on? Yeah, it's precautions for starting the engine. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, I have to check this is up. Yep. I have to check this is all rattly, isn't it? Yep, in neutral, yeah? yep. And then I turn the key till them lights come on, and then I turn it once more and let go, isn't it? Yep, that's it. Yeah? Okay. All right. <coughs> all right. Um, should we do the wipers? No, yeah, they're all right, mate. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to prepare ourselves right. first. So yeah, and that's good because you are actually breaking down this because this is a routine that I'm going to have to use all the way through. It's the first time I'll have used the POM routine. That's right, yeah. And it's something you're going to be chucking at me all the way through my lessons, mm -hmm. whether it be the turn in the road another, or emerging at junctions, prepare yourself as normal, yeah? Yeah. So break the, break the POM routine down for me. Yep. Um, and say, right, we're going to prepare first. Talk me through what's involved in preparing. Then talk me through what's involved in the observation. And obviously then the move bit is when we get on the move, yeah? Yep. And then I need to learn the other routine we're coming back in, which is the mirror signal position speed look routine, yeah? Yep. Yeah? Because okay. there are two routines that are going to go all, go all the way through my lessons. From now on. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so first of all, Tony, we're going to prepare the car. Right, so we yep. can, uh, So you want to press the clutch all the way down all right, your yeah, left foot, yeah. that's it. And we want to select first gear. So push the gear stick all the way towards me and up into first, all the oh, way towards, towards me first and then up into all first. Right. It's important we get first, Tony, because if we don't, then we might stall. Oh, don't okay? stall, yeah. yeah. So now you want to set the gas, so you want to press it just by a width of a coin only. All right. That's enough, that's enough. Bring it up slightly. Half a, half a coin, that's it, that's enough. And you keep your feet still there for me, Tony. Yeah, so it's, we've got Im it's important that we don't have too much yeah. gas, okay? Because as soon as we start to move, we, we don't want to go too fast down the road. 
because you haven't done your steering yet before, have you? All oh, right. And what's the other consequence? Well, we don't want we don't want to be sitting here with too much gas because we could be um, annoying the neighbours. All oh, right. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. they'll hear us yeah. outside. Okay. So now we're going to get biting point. So bring your clutch up just a centimetre at a time. That's enough. And another centimetre. That's enough. And one more centimetre. Now, can you hear that noise? in oh, the yeah. engine yeah? yeah that's just telling you that um we're at biting point now oh, right. right it's important though tony you don't get too high a clutch because otherwise as soon as you put that handbrake down we're going to really go fast down this road oh, right. and you won't have time to to stop so keep your feet still and put your hand on the handbrake oh, don't right. release it yeah. now we're going to do our observations to see if it's safe to go so first of all check your centimeter see if there's anyone coming up behind us no, because if there were then we wouldn't be able to go anyway right there's no one there okay so just check this left door mirror for me because there could be a cyclist coming up along who's going to shoot across us all right can I'll you see can you see anybody coming along yeah, who else we get oh we get other people or oh, a pedestrian no, course, walking yeah. across yeah. walking along right so just look out this window here yeah so a pedestrian walking along is not really a problem to me is it well, no, but we need to know if we're there because we could startle them as we start to move off because they could go to cross the road. Oh, right, yeah, yeah right. We've just got someone passing us now, but they're going away. If you look at the front, what have we got in front of us? No, oh. no, no car immediately yeah. in front of us, yeah. is there? Okay, so now look out your right door mirror. All right. Can you see any cyclists coming up along the, along the road? Only cyclists. Or any cars coming up? No towards us okay so now i want you to look in your blind spot which is oh. over your right shoulder between the head restraint and the door pillar oh, okay it's right over your shoulder so keep your feet still look right over your shoulder yep. is anybody coming up yeah right and as you swing your head around put the handbrake yeah, down yeah what can i see sorry what can i see all oh, right yeah what can you what can you see in your oh, blind I can see spot that silver car. you can see that silver car yeah. and it's not going anywhere no. is it tony so as you put your, as you swing your head round, you can put your handbrake down yeah. Keep your feet still. Yeah. Steer towards you. That's enough. Slow yeah. steering. Steer towards me. Steer towards me. More towards me. Right. That's enough. Keep your feet still. And straighten up. And what we're going to do is just check your centre mirror. Is anybody coming up behind us? No, nobody. Right, keep your feet still. Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to pull in soon after that silver car. So just check your centre mirror. Is anybody coming up behind no. us? Okay. We're going to sig. Pop on a signal to say we're pulling in. So signal now. Uh, sorry, check this door mirror. Is anybody yeah, coming? Just like that a bit, can you no, nobody there. No. Okay. So pop a left signal. What on. am I looking for there? You're looking for si any cyclists. All right. So pop a left signal on. Oh, I need a signal, do I? Yep. Oh no, we don't. <laughs> steer towards me. That's All enough. Right. Ste steer towards you. Oh, I'm sorry. That's enough. And straighten up. All right. Cover the brake. Clutch all the way down. Press the brake, a width of a coin, a width of a coin again, a width of a coin, keep your feet still and keep your feet still. Now put your handbrake on, keep your feet still, go into neutral and now you can relax your feet. That's better, isn't it? No. I forgot about signal as we were pulling off away. Yeah, and then you got, then you were trying to get me a signal when I was pulling in, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so it's important you give me the detail, yeah? Um, as Blaine says, the devil's in the detail. Yeah. So, when you said to me, check the left-hand door mirror, I'm not going to learn right. Uh, I, won't, I won't pick that up, even if you go all day doing it, because you haven't told me what I'm looking for, and the consequence of I don't mm. don't check it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So I try one more. Yeah. Okay. So, so let me just turn it around. Yeah. So remember on that on that first pull away, what can I see? Yeah. Yeah. On the blind spot. On the blind spot. Yeah. yeah. And then you know, once I tell you, then. Just check then that I'm looking afterwards. You don't need to keep harping on a bit. Yeah. The seal of a car or whatever, yeah? And the other thing when we stopped is, what did you not go into? When we stopped just there, what did you not go into? Safe and legal. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't go into the safe, legal and convenient, he may well play you up on that and not actually stop exactly where you were, where you tell him to and push it a little bit further so he's over a, a drop curb. Right, okay. Yeah. So if the education is not there, 
then it's going to come back and bite you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Alright, let's try again. Okay, Tony, so we're going to try that again. So, first of all, again, we're going to prepare the car. So put your foot on the clutch all the oh, way right. down. Select first gear by pushing it all the way towards me and then up into first. Remember, it's important we get first because, as you can see, we're slightly up here. We won't get going. We'll probably roll back. Oh, I'll stall, wouldn't it? Yeah, or yeah. we could stall, yeah. Now, we need to set the gas. So press the gas just a width of a coin only. Oh. Right, that's enough. Now, it's important, Tony, we don't have too much gas because we don't want to go up the road too quickly and also if we're revving the engine a lot it annoys the neighbours. If I didn't have a rev counter how would I know where to uh, set this then? Um, I don't know. You do because you mentioned it last week. Did I? Yeah. You mentioned that, a bit of lively that, hum. That lively hum. Yeah. yeah. So just a, a soft lively hum? Yeah. Soft, lively, I don't know. Lively hum. <laughs> Not too lively. Okay. Um, Okay, and now we need to do our observations. Oh no, sorry, we need to bring the clutch up. So bring the clutch up a centimetre yeah, at a time. Be a little bit careful there, because I'm nearly going to whop the clutch off there, yeah? Okay. Yeah. So we need to get the biting point. So bring the clutch up one centimetre, that's enough. Another centimetre, that's enough. And another centimetre, that's enough. Did you hear the sound in the engine oh, change? Yeah. yeah? yeah. So that means we've got the biting point, Tony. It's really right. important that we don't have too high a clutch. As soon as you put the handbrake down, we could really go fast up the road. Oh, okay. Right. And you also want it on biting point, okay, not too low because otherwise we won't get the car moving. And as you can see, we're on a slight incline. We could roll back, couldn't we? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. we'll roll back, don't we? Yeah, no. So now we're going to do our observations. Okay, so first check your centre mirror. Is anybody coming up no. the road? Cyclist, vehicle, car? No. 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 Okay, so we can carry out the rest of our observations. You want to check this door mirror, Tony, because there could be a cyclist coming up or a pedestrian standing there or walking along. Can you see anybody there? No. Right? They could come across us, couldn't they? Not knowing that we're going to move away. Oh, you mean they could cut step across up us? the pavement yeah. in front of us? Oh, yeah. right, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so we need to check there. Yeah. What's going on in front of us? That's stream walking towards you, but it's a long way away. Okay, so we might have to think about a signal then. So let's just check our right door mirror. Is anybody coming up the road yet? A car or a cyclist, a motorcyclist? No, I can't see anybody. No, okay, so now you want to check your left, uh, you, sorry, your right shoulder, right blind spot. That's over your right shoulder, Tony, between the head restraint oh, yeah. and the door pillar. Is there any, what can you see there? I can see that um, kind of grey car park that down the road beyond me. Right, okay, nobody's in it, okay? No. So, put your hand on the handbrake, just look over your right shoulder again for me. Has anything changed? Is no. anybody coming? Okay. Should we put a signal on here? Because, well, he's gone past now. There's no one about, so we don't really have to signal now. If, if there was someone coming towards us, we would put a signal on. So, put your handbrake on, or down, sorry. Keep your feet still, steer towards you, that's enough, steer towards me, keep your feet still, that's enough, now straighten the car, right. keep your feet still, right. okay, and now we're going to think about pulling up, okay Tony, right. so check your centre mirror, is anybody behind us? No. Right, okay, check your left door mirror, is there any cyclists coming along? Check your left door mirror for me Tony? Oh no. Because if there was, we couldn't pull up could we, because we'd knock them over. No, but I can signal let them know that I'm No, because if you put a signal on, you panic then, wouldn't you? Oh, right, yeah. Right, well, yeah. I think this yellow car's waiting for us, so what we'll do is, we'll just check that mirror, there's no one there. Pop a left signal on. All right. Because he is there, so we need to let him know we're pulling up. Steer towards me, that's enough. Steer towards you, that's enough. Okay, straighten up. Now, cover the brake. All right. And I want you to start pressing it down. A width of a coin. With the point and hold, keep your feet still, clutch all the way down. Oh, oh, so yeah. there, isn't it? Put your handbrake on, keep your feet still, keep your feet still, gear into neutral, relax your feet, and cancel your signal. All right. And we just have a look here that we haven't covered that driveway, so we are in a legal position to stop. Oh, is that the only thing I have to worry about? Just make sure I don't lock it, a drop curb, is that it? No, there could be a parking restriction. All oh, right. Yeah, so you obviously you, you want to make sure that where you're stopping, you can actually stop and leave the car there. There could be a, a sign or um, yellow lines in the road. All oh, right, yeah. Okay, 
but we knew that there weren't any but we just need to make sure that we're not blocking anybody's driveway off right. because of the type of road that we're on yeah okay how did that feel oh okay <laughs> yeah that was better yeah yeah yeah, yeah, if, yeah if it's just to tidy up them them couple of bits yeah okay um Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. Did I feel better then? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's just. Give me that detail, innit? Yeah. And um, you seem to control the steering better there than the. than the 10 minutes and the 5 minutes. Yeah. Uh, I think it's too many words. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, providing I can understand it, providing we consolidate it, uh, I'll go with it, yeah? Yeah. But obviously, if you come out with 10 minutes on the consolidation and five minutes, and then you change it on the move, then I'm just going to be all over the place with steering, yeah? Okay. Yeah? Right, so we get that pause. Okay.